Oh, let's finish this dungeon. It's just going to be uh, this part left of Temple of Lightning. Got probably about eight minutes until the boss, so uh, yay! Not much of a specimen. Okay, who's going to level up or learn a move today? Is it Genus? No. Might be Genus leveling up. I don't know. <laughs> Too bad. Oh, it's the Lloyd that levels up! Yay! You know, that, that, that should be my next sort of um, goal. See if I can um, guess who levels up or who learns a move from my, what my memory can tell me. Because sometimes I'll remember sort of the, where the battles are that. Uh, I uh, get things from, but uh, it, it's not all the time. Anyway, we don't want to fall off this time, we just want to get all the way up to the top. And we want to uh, explode that thing. And then we've got to go all the way back down. Which requires falling off again. At least you don't lose health for doing this. <laughs> that would be a lot, that would just be annoying as all hell. Anyway, back through here, if we go up to the right, um, we can activate that. Which means that the lightning's now gonna strike that, I think, maybe? I can't remember actually. Yeah. Oh well. Back through this dark room, I think um gotta decide gotta take a little different route to what we did last time. So we've got to go up the stairs rather than down. I can't remember whether now is the point where, um... We... No, I think it's after we get the uh, red light... red electricity. Yeah, this is, um, one of the more complicated pathways. There is a, um, chest in here. I think it's the only... Yeah, I think it's the only, um, dark room with a chest in it. I could be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure it is. Anyway, uh... Ah yeah, that's it, we need to uh, turn off this um, lightning rod. So then we can, um... Make it hit that, which is going to activate stuff. Which means we can use um, the control thing that was upstairs. So back through the room again. It's a lot of backtracking in this dungeon, isn't there? At least it's more interesting backtracking than um, the Mel Tokyo sewers. Oh, that was irritating. I'm so, 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 so glad I never have to go through there again. I'm also glad that I um, only have to sort of pop my head into the Gararakia forest. Now, where do I want to go? Right, upstairs we go. And now I've got this interesting thing where we've got to blow up the right blocks to get things to um, fall down. I believe this um, monster here has the memory gem. Yes, indeed, they do. And then, which was the one that you want to blow up first? I can't remember whether these things respawned, but. Um... I wouldn't count on it. 
Anyway, now that we've done that, we're going to go down to the control panel. Uh, basically, um, it's one of those puzzles where you've got to see where the thing's going to end up. Um, start! So the electrical thing's going to go through all the uh, different panels and up to the top. Which will... Uh, do that one, it'll get you an item. And a few of the uh, later ones. Well, I think the next one that we're doing nets as an item as well. And then the one after that is um, the uh, end of it. So, uh, Actually, I think these do respawn, if only because um, if you completely messed up, um, you wouldn't be able to complete the puzzle. So, they probably do sort of respawn, I think. I could be completely wrong in that assumption. I honestly do not know what that boulder was just doing there. But, oh well, if it's there, use it. No, that was, so that chest up there is the only chest that we um, needed to get. So, yeah. It's not long now. We've just got the red lightning, but, or red electricity, or whatever you want to call it. So now we've just got to, uh... Well, oh, that last, uh, block. Now, I think I, um... Might go back to the first room. If only because, um... We've got all the, uh... We've got the save point up there, and this way I can save a memory gem. Or not. Um, this is the hardest, uh, dark room to get through. It's also the only one in which you can actually take a shortcut to get out, I mean. Oh, come on! I don't like this. Well, I do, it's fun, but, um... Wish it would sort of hurry up a little bit sometimes. Ah, there we go. There's, we've got a chest here that um, we need to get. And now I think I'm going back to the front. Cause now, if you just walk off the side there, you have uh, got that nice little shortcut. And if you walk off the side there again, you get another shortcut. So it's all good. Now... Let's go to the front and then we'll come back and we'll take on Vault! Oh my unlock. Come on! Make up your mind. Get past me. There we go. I have to do quite like the looks of the uh, red electricity, it's quite um, badass. Bit late for that, Lloyd. And we've already been zapped, so I don't quite know what you're talking about. Would not surprise me, Regal. Would not surprise me. We're heading to Vault right now, you idiots! My word. And then let me guess, we're going to get zaps just before I get to the save point.
Thought so. Oh well, thankfully I have more than enough stuff to counteract that. And now, oh, why did I turn them off? It's lightning and thunder blades that you want to turn off. Because um, they will heal Vault. And you don't want that to happen. So, let's do this. Let's take on Vault. Oh, you, I don't have to battle you. This is it. Examine this, and it's time to take the battle to vaults. And here's the crazy ass summon spirit himself. It's finally time. Indeed Here it is, Lloyd. Sheena, calm down. I'll translate. I Thank am you, one Rain. who is bound to Mythos. Who are you? Mythos again? How could he make pacts with summoned spirits in both Tetheala and Silveront? Lord only knows. Yeah. Maybe Mythos went back and forth between the worlds with the Riard as well. Maybe. I am Sheena. I ask that thou annulst thy pact with Mythos and establish a new pact with me. He says that his pact with Mythos is broken, but he no longer desires a pact. Oh dear. Why? I will have no more dealings with people, therefore I desire no pact. No, we need your help! Sheena, be careful! Yeah. Do not piss off the summon spirit. Jeez. Everyone, watch out! This is just like before. Oh dear. Crin! by Volt's shadow. For the sake of everyone that risked their lives to protect me, Volt, I demand your power! You're in for a world of hurt. Indeed you are, Volt. Especially after what you just did to Karen. <laughs> I can't say I'm a fan of Volt's design, it's just weird. And also looking at him from that angle is really weird. You ready? That didn't go very well, did it? Oh well. Now Vault um, can be rather annoying, um, especially if you are. You don't have any protection against sort of paralysis or whatever. But, um. And also, he does that really annoying move. But, don't worry, we can beat him. Are you okay? Heal. Take 
This is gonna hurt. Try and run when he does that, otherwise you are screwed. Oh, Sheena's in over limits. Vault. It's time to face the wrath of Sils. Sils. Oh, boo. At least he got out of Overlimp by the time that was done. Right, so we've got to use e freak at some point. I'm in Overlimit now, boss. Prepare to die! Boo, yeah. As Sheena said, you were in for a world of hers. Vault says, make your vow. Yay! Just like I said. For the sake of everyone that risked their lives to protect me. And for Corinne's sake as well. I want to save both worlds. The vow has been made. I entrust my power to the Pact Maker, Sheena. It's over. It is, Sheena. What's happening? Now this track here is called Spirit the Twister. The between the two worlds has been severed. Wait. I'll translate. The two opposing forces of mana were... Severed just now? What does it mean for the mana flow to be severed? Mana flows from the world in which the summon spirits sleep to the world in which the summon spirits are awake. This is the first time the summon spirits have been awakened in both worlds at the same time. Because of this, the mana connecting the two worlds has been eliminated. Does that mean that Silveron and Tetheala? have stopped competing for each other's mana? I do not know. The only thing certain is that the flow of mana between the worlds has been severed. Yes. Eventually, the worlds shall separate. You mean the two worlds will split apart? Oh, That's perfect! Then they'll stop competing for each other's mana. There are five seals in Silveront. And since there wasn't a summon spirit at the fifth seal, we should be able to sever all of the mana if we awaken the summon spirits that correspond to the other four seals. Uh. Maybe. So, if we awaken Tetheala's summon spirits, we'll save Silveront without having Tetheala go into decline, right? That's good. At the least, the mana connecting the worlds will disappear, and the two worlds will separate. All right, yo. I see. So the seals serve as a link between the two worlds. It makes sense. We I are guess. all to you, Sheena, and Corinne as well. Indeed. Huh? Because the two of you risked your lives to form the pact with Volt, we now know what the seals do. That's right. It's thanks to both of you. Corinne, thank you. Oh, that's over. Now let's do a little bit of title fixing. Uh, Master Swordsman. Oh, 
Let's let's go with Acrobat. That does work in better for me, things. Oh, let's just go with Professor. So. Warlock, definitely. Battle artist, or so. battle artist, I think. Gleaming Knight and X Man. It's a bit sexist if you ask me, but oh well. I'm not the one who decides the names of the titles, so yeah. Yay! Right, okay. Blimmin' out, not. So yeah, our next job is to go and get the Riyards! And then we can go rescue Colette. 